So this is the first day of the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, and I camped out with the PAR-TR group that did a little bit of cleanup out in Ehrenberg. This particular setup will evolve as time goes on, and it's going to get pretty big. I'm, I'm promised bonfires every night, several tents, lots of uh, music and, and live stuff. Also, lots of little dogs running around. The little ones don't seem to be on leashes most of the time, uh, but the big ones do. Most people are pretty nice when you're driving through. It's Nobody's really in a rush out here. In fact, people come here to slow down. Um, getting back in between these washes is a little bit complicated, especially before you get into the RTR, the BLM designated area for the RTR. Yeah, and people camp out in everything from Prius type cars and you know the bigger vans, uh, minivans. Here's the uh, the bubblegum bus, and uh, they were I, I guess big hits at the WRTR. And then Gus in a bus next to him. This is the entrance to the RTR. It's basically just a tent, and people check you in, have you fill out a little piece of paper or whatever that uh, ensures that uh, the BLM's getting their numbers right. Uh, if you go to the left of the main entrance, if you're on a, a push bike or an electric bike or a motorcycle like mine, or if you're on foot, you can go this way and you'll see all these uh, volunteers up here directing traffic and they'll radio ahead if there's traffic around a corner to make sure there's no accidents or whatever. Across the street is where the stage area is. There's lots of talks and whatnot going on. And this is Seth's rig here. Seth was a uh, part of the the cleanup out there. This is the PAR-TR group core. Um, there's other people there. Let's see, Dennis is on the end. There's Bart next to him. Seth, I think he's over there sitting down. Everybody shouts over to Bob Wells. Thanks, Bob. Go over there and check this out. So this is the kind of the free stuff tent. People um, prune what they have on board and just donate stuff. Uh, vets bring in stuff for dogs, uh, dentists bring in, uh, you know, toothbrushes, toothpaste, hi, you know, dental hygiene stuff. Um, yeah, people just kind of donate stuff. It's kind of like a thrift shop, only it doesn't cost anything. It's free. And there's Bob, right there. <laughs> so always seems to go to crowd in front of him. Um... Get out of here a little bit and go across the street is actual organized what they call first street all the way through sixth street. Uh, this is uh, Doug from the Escapees right here. He's got a neat little rig, floats around with his cat. Doesn't like having his face on camera, so I didn't approach him with my GoPro on. Uh, down this way is what I call Bread Truck Boulevard. There's like one, two, three. Or a couple more back there, a couple more bread trucks back there. Uh, they call them step vans, I call them bread trucks. And then upcoming here on the left is the Get Moving uh, bus. That one's from Washington. People have all kinds of rigs out here. There's teepees, and you know, of course, there's uh, regular smaller RVs, uh, kind of newer ones, older ones. There's little stamps, stamps are neat. And then, of course, there are schoolies, which are my favorite. I'm trying to interview as many schoolie owners as possible. Interesting people, too. We got ladies literally in loincloths from head to toe, which is interesting. Move on from that. Uh, this year, there are also porta potties, which are good, especially for van lifers and uh, leather trampers who are in, in sort of uh, tent situations. And speaking of tents, people do all kinds of cool stuff with tents in their vans to make either their van space bigger or put it on top of their van to have like a second story thing. And then you see re really, really cool builds like this. This is uh, obviously a trailer that's, this, this guy's put lots of time and effort into taking a van that once was something and made it something else. It's got like a ironing board there. Uh, apparently he does enough clothes that Having an ironing board makes <laughs> engineering one into it pretty cool. Volunteers are pretty cool as well. This is Susan, as I as I call her, Susan Campswell. <laughs> and 
and exiting back out, if you take a left on your way out, or which would be a right on your way in, you'll see where I think Schoolie Palooza is supposed to be. And there's what I call uh, trucker treaters, which are truckers that just never go home. They deliver goodies from, <laughs> from one place to another and never really stop. So, and then there are what I call uh, custom built scamps. These are just trailers, light trailers, kind of like miniature tiny homes on trailers. There's another scamp right here. These are either made out of molded plastic or fiberglass or something. They're super light, throw a couple of windows in them and they're pretty cheap. Uh, the rest of what you'll see out here is mostly gonna be RVs or schoolies like this. And you know, back in this whole area, it, you know, before the RTR is just really gonna be a lot of the RVs. But then leaving the gate from the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. If you go down a few washes, you'll see the party R group, but before that, you see all kinds of neat ones and they name them cool stuff like Mellow Yellow. <laughs> and, you know, the, there's just so much character in a lot of these vehicles. You know, people just either build them out or they make them cute <laughs> or they have cool paint jobs on them or they're just like super dope. This is Jamie's rig here. He's with Band Build. Uh, somebody actually donated that Harley to him, which was pretty nice. He does good work, so he, he deserved it. And uh, yeah, so back at camp, they put this tent up, and uh, there's this guy, kind of quirky. He flies around with his uh, little paramotor, and and he's right next to our wash, so he's he's out here all the time. And, yeah, really, really cool time out here at the RTR, opening day. Yeah, you got another 10 days to be here, so I hope you can make it.